Fuck with Drash and I, uh, the host of your Eternal Idol show, and I'm sorry I haven't had time to do your show as of late. I've uh, been very busy with my band and uh, writing new songs and drinking a lot of alcohol and stuff like that, but I will uh, get back to it when I do have time, but uh, the reason I'm here today is to talk about Mr. Bill Ward, who came on Facebook today saying that uh, he's all for the reunion, man. He wants to do it, but uh, they want him to sign some fucked up contracts that he refuses to sign. He says it ain't about money, it's about dignity. So I'm sure what they're trying to do is fuck him over, man. Give him less share than the other three. But let me tell you something, there ain't no Black Sabbath without this guy, okay? There ain't no Black Sabbath without him, him, or him. All of them deserve an equal share. 25% down the board, each of them, okay? So I stress everybody out there to find out who to write and say, we need Bill Ward in the Black Sabbath reunion. Because without him, it's not a reunion, okay? So anybody out there that knows where I can write, I, I would love to do it too, but I don't know where to go. So uh, for Bill Ward, a stand-up gentleman, let's tell these motherfuckers that don't be fucking with fucking Black Sabbath. The legacy are these four gentlemen, while they're still alive, they should all combine themselves and make fucking magic because without Bill Ward, it ain't Black Sabbath, okay? I'll get that back to the episodes whenever I can. Okay, so uh, all I can say is that, you know, I'm a little pissed off about this bullshit. And uh, I don't know who's involved, but, you know, it's probably that bitch. But either way, again, Bill Ward, Tony Aomi, Keys and Butler, Ozzy Osbourne, all four of them have to be in the Black Sabbath reunion or else fuck you.